Pilsen and Sug began Tuesday already having qualified for the CHL knockout stage, but first place in Group B was on the line at the home monitoring arena. Really going, it was Pilsen knocking on the door. The centering pass from the man of the top scorer's jersey, Milan Gulash. But Tomasz Martel unable to get the puck past Luka Holenstein. Holenstein nearly tested again here. Gulash just losing control at the key moment. Then at the other end of the ice, chance here on Dominic Frodel, but Johan Morant, the defenseman, unable to get the biscuit in the basket. Still no goals moving on as Livio Langenegger centering, but Frodel able to stick that puck out of harm's way. Maybe a tip from Rafael Diaz. And Hollenstein called into action at the other end. Petr Cherezniak drawing out the save from Hollenstein. End of the period, a blocker save made. Jan Leonard Albrecht turning around in the slot. But again, Frodel in the way. No goals in that first period. Into the second we went. And early on into the net, finally, David McIntyre opening the scoring for Zug. The visitors striking first. Good feed in front from Dario Simeon. McIntyre's second of the CHL season. And the Swiss in front 1-0. Breakaway chance at the other end, though. Holenstein denying Miroslav Indrak on the doorstep. Great outlet pass. Hint of offside, maybe, but didn't matter because Holenstein made the save. Zug trying to double their lead. The rebound nearly falling for Oscar Lindbergh, who went down. No penalty called. Maybe a moment of controversy. By the way, that's Christian Collage now between the pipes for Pills and a goalie change made. Meanwhile, Holenstein at the other end proving his medal. Pilsen on the power play, but can't get the puck past Holenstein. And Zhu going for the dagger, but the feed from Jan Kovarge to Cyril Uren does not result in Zug's second goal. Diving stop by Collarge. Another chance on the doorstep. Again, it falling for Uren, the 21-year-old Swiss player for Zug. But the stop made by Collarge, and that would prove large as late on the extra attacker into the game. And guess who? Milan Gulash, seventh goal of the CHL season. Hills and equalizing the game, dragging us into overtime. Two already guaranteed top spot in Group B. Pilsen needed to win in regulation. But in overtime, no goals. Ultimately, it would fall to Goulash to do the deed with the sixth penalty for Pilsen. Final shot by Lindbergh saved. Pilsen wins the game 2-1, but Zug top of Group B.